Spotlight. Na sasa hivi mimi yangu niko na mrembo anaitwa Shafo Crazy anatokea South Africa. Uh, she's one of the best DJs. Unajua kule wanatokea watu wenye vibes ama piano here and there. So tazungumza naye mauli matatu kwa sababu ni one of the DJs ambao wataenda ku perform for it tonight. Hi Crazy. Hi, how are you? You look gorgeous. Thank you, man. Sweet as always. Thank okay. you. So, I know this is not your first time in Zanzibar, neither in Fumon Party. So, what are you planning to do, which is so special, different from your last performance? So, the last time I was in um, Zanzibar, it was an amazing experience. It was phenomenal. Everyone pulled out all the best stops. So, this year, I'm definitely going to do something that I've never tried before. I'm also an artist, so I'm going to be singing for you guys. I'm going to be dancing for you guys as well. So, it's going to be a three-in-one show package deal. So, that's what we're going to be doing today I'm really excited yeah okay, so before uh, we continue with tonight's show you know Taylor won a Grammy I know that spoke a lot for you girls in South Africa who went on music so can you share with us how did you feel when she won that, that award we were so proud of Tyler. I cannot lie. She really did something for South African music that cannot be undone. She really put um, South African music on the map. So it really gave hope to girls like me that, you know, we'll someday also be sharing big stages like Tyler herself. So, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. And by the way, I, I would love also to hear from you. Uh, we see a lot of DJs, female DJs in your country doing their ma piano, doing um, nightclubs, like performing here and there as a DJs. Uh, we would love to know, how do people take female DJs in your country? Um, female DJs in SA is really something that you see quite often. It's um, a very saturated market, but it's still treated with so much respect because the craft is so much different from any other type of female DJ. It's a female Amabiano DJ, so you know, you can't just DJ on the decks. The girls really take time to learn how to DJ, learn how to dance, learn how to perform and entertain. So it's something that's really respected in South Africa, but also very common. It's very common, yeah. And also as a Nigerian artist, how do you feel seeing Amapiano, your own sound, like from your country? like doing well globally in every country trying to do something like Amapiano. I have the biggest pride in my country right now. They've been making us so proud with the World Cup, with AFCON, with the music. So right now as I'm sitting here, I'm so proud to be South African. I raise my flag very high. Um, I just pray and hope that we're able to maintain it, um, that we don't get too comfortable and we continue making amazing Amapiano for the world. Hey. So last year you lost two artists, it was tragic, we know that. So um, security wise, how are you artists feeling like being in your country? You know, we can't really say that um, South Africa is as dangerous or more dangerous than any other country. You know, there's going to be crime, there's going to be artists dying in any other country. But, you know, I think that artists in South Africa have obviously maximized provisions in order to be more safe. Um, but it's just an unfortunate tragedy that I think should not really be... Um, judgmental towards everyone in South Africa or the safety, the general safety in South Africa. It's just, it's an unfortunate tragedy, it is, but South Africa is still a beautiful, safe place, man. Yeah. So I'd love to come to your, your you know, your career as Prezi. So can you tell us, how did you end up being a DJ, like in the, an artist? Was it a passion? Were you inspired by someone? Or did you study, you know, becoming a DJ? So for me to decide to be a DJ, I actually wanted to be a song artist first. I wanted to make music first. Uh, and then we saw our patron, Uncle Waffles. She also started making big moves. She started inspiring all these female DJs. Like, guys, try this out. This is really the latest, hottest thing. And, you know, I started it off as a trend just to see how it is. But I never thought I would fall in love with the craft as much as I did. And um, with me falling in love with the craft, I obviously really invested in it a lot. I really mastered it. And then I got to where I am right now because of my hard work. But I never really thought. I genuinely didn't think I'd get this far from DJing. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And also, I would love to know, you know, Nigerians stood for their artists when Tyler won, like they were insulting her, bullying her, which is not a good thing. But looking at the bright side, uh, do you think South African people can stand for their artists as how Nigerians did? South Africa will fight and ride for their artists, not just any artist, any South African in general. We always stand um, behind our people, but not so much as to cause division within Africa. Because at the end of the day, we're all brothers and sisters, especially brothers and sisters in music. You know, you can't be a musician just alone. It's a community. So South Africans know we really do back our artists. You know, we don't really take slander um, on social media very likely, but also we just take the, the higher pedestal and we just turn a, a blind look to it because at the end of the day the Grammys are South Africa not Nigeria. 
<laughs> okay, you don't need to talk much. I mean, ah. Uh. You guys are doing well. Nigeria is killing them. You guys have been killing it for a long time. Give South Africa a chance. <laughs> I mean, why not? And by the way, I, I would love also to know, I mean, do South African artists like have unity, support each other, or oh, there is some bias between you guys? Um, obviously, it's going to be like any music industry in um, any country. There's always going to be rivalry, you know, especially um, in a field like Ama Piano. Ama Piano is very popular right now, so everyone's trying to make it in Ama Piano. So there's obviously a bit of tension, a bit of rivalry. But at the end of the day, like I said, music is a community. It's, it doesn't make sense to be drifting apart. You only become stronger when you come together. And that's the whole point of Ama Piano. And that's why we've grown so much than any other South African genre because Ama Piano was a collective of artists coming together to make music so it doesn't make sense for division to happen but there's a lot of support a lot of support a lot of collaborations I'm sure you've seen a lot of Ama Piano songs they'll be featuring a whole catalog of producers like six producers in one song two vocalists in one song so it's a community you can't have Ama Piano without a family yeah that's amazing by the way and I also love to know like do you know any DJ from Tanzania uh, DJs from Tanzania. I know um, an artist from Tanzania, Chino Kid. Chino and Amman. I love his music. I recently collaborated with him actually. We dropped a song called Moyo Moyo and was charting in Tanzania. So yeah, I know, I know mostly just Chino. Um, but also the Tanzanian artists here are amazing. Like um, I think it was Zuchu. Yes, she's amazing. I don't really, I'm not too familiar with the DJs, but the artists definitely. You guys make amazing music. I agree with you 100%, like no cap. I mean, <laughs> I would love to know, how did you meet Chino and do a collaboration? I met Chino Kid through um, his manager, Isa. His manager is the one who was responsible for my bookings in Zanzibar. He's the one who's been hosting me in Zanzibar. And then um, we met Chino Kid, and then I listened to his music. I played for him my music. We're like, hey, you know, why don't we bring Tanzania and South Africa together again? Let's make um, a sound that will be unique to us and see how that goes and yeah that's as far as our relationship starts. Of course Moyo is still trending if you don't know now you know. <laughs> trending yeah, yeah like we love the song so man. No Moyo was really a masterpiece I really had fun making that I had fun. Do you know the meaning of Moyo? Moyo. Oh, why would you do that to me? <laughs> Save us. No, I actually don't I don't I was writing the Zulu parts I wasn't writing the Swahili parts. Oh you song you sang a song that you don't know the meaning was, of it. Moyo. I was watching the Zulu part. What, 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 what if that, that the name Moyo is an insult? It can't be an insult. Look at Chino Kid's brand. <laughs> His brand is so clean, so pure. I could have never hopped on the song if he had a trashy brand or anything, but I know it was. It's probably something special. You'll tell me though. Yeah, yeah I'll tell you. It's heart. Heart. Like your heart. Moyo. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's beautiful. I don't know. I don't know why. I think I'm just. Why didn't I think of translating that? But yeah, no. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense now. <laughs> Anyway, so can you share with us uh, the first time that you performed at, uh, at Full Moon and Kendra, uh, who hooked you up? Isa again. It was Isa at first. I think Isa actually we met in South Africa. He's a local in South Africa. He saw my performances in South Africa and then he booked me. My first performance in Kendra, I was so nervous. But the vibe, the friendliness of the crowd, the friendliness of the staff here made it so easy, so stress-free. So it made my performances go smooth and that's what brought me here again. Spotlight. Spotlight.